Is it possible uh, for an average bloke to ride all 21 stages of the Tour de France? Bruce Thompson, I'm an aircraft technician. I'm an accountant. I work at Victoria University. A project manager for a building company. I'm a GP. I am a planning consultant. I'm a chartered accountant by profession. Uh, I'm uh, currently unemployed. I uh, left my job to go ride the Tour de France. The one thing we all had in common was that we'd all been affected majorly or minorly by mental health uh, issues of some sort. The reason I was there was because of the Mental Health Foundation. It's a brutal, brutal sport and it's an even more brutal sport when you're not a professional athlete trying to do what the professionals do. The first few days, you know, we were having, you know, serious concerns. We persuaded him to get back on the bike and see how he felt at the next hairpin, even if we had to push him up. That was the day it was all for. <laughs> I've run out of gears already, and what are we are? 400 metres into the first climb? Holy shit. There's nothing tougher in cycling than the Tour de France. And they designed it to effectively be, there was only one man that was finishing at the end. But we had a climb and those boys just put a little bit more power and I've got no power left. I knew he'd get eight guys. I didn't know if they'd be able to complete it. There's no way you could do it without a team. And it's just new respect for the pro riders and the pro teams and how organised they are. 